Alright YouTube, today I've got a special mail day coming from uh, Japan. I'm going to show off some cool other Japanese kind of stuff that I got in my uh, movie collection. Um, and also, um, I got a card that I got in today and it fits pretty well with today's Japanese mail day. And this is courtesy of, let's show you guys. I don't want to mess the package up, so... This is courtesy of Kentaro Sato, if you can see it. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. I'm trying to show you information. So, there we go. Kentaro Sato. Um, really great YouTuber, um, Sato Ken. Uh, sent me some uh, cool stuff from Japan. Um, he was talking to me recently about some cool Calbi stuff. And um, he said he was going to send me something. So can't thank you enough and um many of you out there should be subbed to him already because he's a great guy and uh his videos are very cool and very popular so um yeah if you're not subbed to him or haven't watched any of his videos uh do yourself a favor and shoot on over there and check him out because he's a great guy and i'm gonna put um a link to his channel um in the description box so you can just go down and click and really easily go over and check him out so let me go ahead and put this aside real quick uh today i got in this card right here which is a Koji Yuhara. Um, this is from Bowman Sterling. Um, let me take this out of here so you guys can see how nice this card is. Um, this is from Sterling 2009. This is the black refractor version numbered to 25. Beautiful card as you know. Most of you know I collect uh, Japanese players a lot now and Koji was um, one of the Orioles top guys until we traded him. Uh, the Rangers have him now, along with Darvish and uh, Tadayama, I think they have him too. So, we don't have Vihar anymore, but I still do collect his Orioles cards. So, there's another great one. Um, back here in the back, kind of a little bit of an homage to um, Sato Ken, because I know he likes Darvish. I got a Darvish Calbi over here, one of the ones I got from Andrew. Um, I got a Touch the Game rookie that I got from eBay a little while ago, uh, sitting in front of Soundwave here. And then there's the uh, 2011 BBM with the Silver Fact Signature. Um, here's two of my uh, favorite, uh, as far as Japanese go, DVDs. Um, just recently they re-released uh, Battle Royale on Blu-ray and DVD. I picked up the Blu-ray. Um, I remember me and my brother tracking this thing down in like 2001 or two when we heard about it. This is an excellent Japanese movie, and for everybody out there who's fans of the Hunger Game, um... This is kind of, I guess, what they got that from, because uh, I believe that this movie, this story, was out before the books and everything. So uh, check this out if you get a chance. It's an excellent movie. It has beat Takeshi in it, um, who was the uh, Takeshi's Castle, which, you know, the MXC, Most Extreme Elimination Challenge, was the American version of uh, Takeshi's Castle. They kind of took that show and turned it into, like, a comedy show and changed the dialogue or whatever. But, um, and also... Um, What's her name? Ch Chiaki Kiriyama from uh, Kill Bill, the one that played Go-Go in Kill Bill. She's pretty young in this, too. This movie came out in, like, 2000. Excellent movie. And uh, this right here is some of my uh, favorite stuff from um, Japan. Um, this is uh, Zatoichi. Zatoichi. Um, I've heard it pronounced in many different ways. It's the Blind Samurai, Blind Swordsman. Um, this was a set that I found. I have lots of his stuff on uh, VHS from when I was younger. I love samurai movies. Samurai are probably my favorite. Like, uh, Akira Kurosawa's original Seven Samurai is one of my favorite all-time movies. Um, he's an excellent, um, director, but I'd say Zatoichi is, uh, my favorite of all Japanese movies. Uh, many people in America don't really know much about this, but, um, this was the first four films. This one was actually in black and white, and, uh, I believe this one, 1962, this one came out. Uh, 62 for the second one. This was the Tale of Zatoichi Continues, featured on One-Armed Swordsman, I believe. New Tale of Zatoichi was the first color one, 63. And then, um, let's see, 63 again was The Fugitive. Um, there was like about 27 movies in total. Um, and there was a TV show. So if you guys have never seen Zatoichi or Zatoichi, however you want to say it, give it a shot because it's some of the best stuff out there movie-wise. And it's a landmark, you know, Japanese film series. So, um... Yeah. So there we go. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, let's go ahead and see what uh, Sato Ken sent me. I'm pretty excited about this. And I'm um, pretty sure I'm going to send you something back. Um, I know you said you weren't really worried about it, but I'm still going to send you something back anyway. 
So let's go ahead and get this uh, cut open here. I don't want to ruin the envelope too much. So I'm going to keep it off camera. Nobody needs to see your personal info. All right. So looks like you sent me some great stuff here, buddy. And I really, really appreciate this. Um, wow. Always thanks, Glockus. Good luck with the Calbi. And there's a signature right there. I guess that's Kentara Sato right there. Oh, okay. He sent me a, uh, looks like a business card type thing here. Oh, that's cool, man. Oh, that is neat. Oh. Man, that is excellent. That is really cool. Thanks for sending that card to Sato Ken. That is really neat. Vice President International Corporations team. The big man. All right, and he sent me a stack of Calbee packs here, and he threw me in some uh, cards, too, so let's do the Calbee packs next. Oh, and he threw me a Sumo pack in, too. 2008 BBN Sumo. Oh, that is just excellent. And he sent me some uh, excellent cards here. He knows how much I've been into the, the Japanese cards lately. I've been loving the Calbee and the BBM. Um... You know, uh, I've been talking to Takatanaka Giants Andrew about that a lot, and and I know Sada can notice how excited I was and been about him lately. So, all right, so let's see what we got here. This is Aoki uh, or Aoki. I hope I'm saying that right. From the Swallows, that's a Calbi from uh, 2011. Man, these are such nice cards. I love these cards. And then this is a uh, Chen. So thank you very much for the Chen um, and the Aoki, both of them. These are excellent cards. Excellent card, Satakan. Thank you. So let's go ahead and get into the uh, sumo pack first here. Let's try to not damage this. So I'm going to keep this pack. And let's see. All right. Now I'm going to try not to butcher any names. I'm just going to show the cards off. These are, oh, I thought that was a, never mind. So I guess these are all the base versions of the cards, I take it. I don't see, I didn't see any, like, say anything different on them. So yeah, I think they're the base versions of the cards. So no inserts or anything like that, but really nice looking cards. BBM just does not disappoint with their cards, man, I tell you. Mm. So thank you very much for that. And let's go ahead and, we got five Calbee packs here. Wow, that is nice. <clears throat> I really, really appreciate this. And as you know, here in America, we cannot get anything like this at all. So let's go ahead and clip these open and see what we can get. Alright, here's pack number one out of five. So, we've got 2012 Calbee. And this is T. Sakataguchi. And then this is one of the star cards. Oh, that's excellent. This card's a really nice looking too from the Marines. I'm not sure who this is though. You got to tell me who this is, uh, Satoken. I'm not sure who that guy is. Um, it doesn't look like they had his name written in on English, so. God, these cards are so nice looking. And one of the packs that I got, I think it was the yeah, it was the one that Andrew had sent me, had a um had a really sweet uh, insert card of one of the classic looking ones. And uh, so now I got a star card and a classic one from that. And let's see what we got here. Oh, this looks like a checklist card. So this is one of the checklist cards. And it is a Buffaloes player. I'm not sure who that is. And this is from the Bay Stars, S. Yamaguchi. Yep. So, yeah, you guys will definitely have to let me know who's who. And, you know... I'm so trying not to rip the names apart too much. I know we're getting into kind of a long video here, but I kind of wanted this to be a be a longer video. Um, I really, how much I really appreciate this, and kind of wanted it to be a Japanese themed video. So this looks like it's another star card. This is of a Tigers player. I'm not sure who that is though. And this is from the base stars Y. Sutsugo. Sutsugo. I hope I pronounced that right. Susumo. Yep, that's from the base stars. So second to last pack here. 
And this is the 40th memorial for Calby, too. So apparently they've been putting these out for a while. Which is just awesome. And we've got a fighters player here. H. Takeda. And H. Ibata from the Dragons. So those are like the base versions. And last pack. 2012 Calby. Satsuken Mail Day. And yeah, you guys definitely go and check his channel out. I and mean, you'll love his videos. I know he collects mainly hockey. And a lot of people, you know, look at this and see baseball. But, I mean, his videos are great. He opens all kinds of great stuff. This is uh, D. Sarfete. So I guess he's probably American, dude. And this is another checklist card. I love the way these checklist cards look. It's like a full photo. So yeah, 2012 Calby checklist. So there we go. So sorry for a longer video, but I really wanted to show off some cool Japanese uh, movie stuff that I had. That Zatoichi. And a uh, nice stack of Calby here, courtesy of Santo Ken. Not to mention the uh, Chen and the Oki. So I collect both of them, so that's going right into the PCs. And the Sumo. Let's not forget them. So yeah, guys, any questions about anything, you want to know about any of those movies or anything, let me know. Definitely go check out Satoken in the description box. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy your Monday. Laters.